Hello, MCU fans. Today we're going to look at 60 unanswered questions in the MCU, things that are dangling plot lines, uh, waiting for, for the resolution in a future movie or TV show. And actually, I think this is one of the big reasons that people have felt like Phase 4 might be a little disjointed is there are a ton of things hanging out there. In fact, the list just continues to grow and grow and grow without too many of them actually getting resolved. So we're going to look, starting back in Phase 1, uh, at and, and go in order of release of the movies that created these uh, 60 unanswered questions. We're going to go quickly. We're not going to try to solve them. We're just going to say... Where did the issue come about, the unanswered question, and where might they be resolved? I mean, you could do an entire video on each of these unanswered questions, but instead, we're going to go quickly through them just to show how many things we're waiting for Marvel to answer for us. So uh, buckle your seatbelt. It is going to be a fast ride. Here we go. Starting all the way back in Phase 1 with the Incredible Hulk, we've never learned whether Dr. Samuel Stearns became the leader. It's just kind of left there. Um, I think it's possible we may finally get that answer if he shows up in She-Hulk. Um, then, moving into Phase 3, I didn't actually find any open plot lines from Phase 2. But moving to Phase 3, are the Sokovia Accords still a thing? I mean, they seem so important, yet we never hear them mentioned anymore. I think it would be interesting to get that answer in Captain America New World Order. Moving on to Doctor Strange, what is up with Mordo and his quest to end all sorcerers? Now, it is true, it was rumored he was going to show up in Multiverse of Madness and maybe not make it through the movie, an early kill by Wanda. Uh, but because he didn't appear, the question is still out there. Is What is he doing? Um, I think we may finally get that answer. I hope we may finally get that answer in Doctor Strange 3. Um, then, moving on to Guardians 2, what is going on with Adam Warlock and the Sovereign? That's been a plot point sitting out there for quite some time, and I do believe we will get that answer in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I mean, Warlock has been cast, so if we don't get the answer, something strange is going on. Um, also, from Guardians 1 and 2, and really even some of the other appearances of Rocket, the question of who made Rocket. It, it, it's clear that there is a deeper story there that James Gunn was hinting at in the movies, and I do believe we are going to get that answer in Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Then, moving on to Homecoming, are we ever going to see the Prowler or the Scorpion appear? In fact, for that matter, Miles Morales was pretty heavily teased, too. All of this in Homecoming, and yet we've had multiple Spider-Man appearances, but nothing with the Prowler, nothing with Scorpion or Miles Morales. I'll just throw out maybe, I'm, I'm hoping, Spider-Man 4, I'd love it. Any of those, all of them would be fine. So we'll see. Um, who bought Avengers Tower? Homecoming, certainly a big plot point, was moving out of Avengers Tower, but we don't know who bought it. I'm just going to take a guess we're going to learn in Fantastic Four, because I think they bought it. We'll see. But hopefully we're going to learn at some point, somewhere, who bought Avengers Tower. Uh, then we move on to Ragnarok. What happened to the Grandmaster? Please don't tell me he was killed. Grandmaster is epic. He needs to show up again. And I'm going to throw out that we're going to see him in Secret Wars. Because, hey, if you're having Battle World, if you're having fights, if you're having challenge, you got to have the Grandmaster, right? He's got to be helping run the show. So uh, then we move on to Black Panther. And we've never really heard, has there been any fallout from Wakanda opening up to the world? Now, there was a stray line in, in Infinity War that was kind of played as a joke, but I really want to know, has there been fallout? And I do believe that's going to be a major plot point in Wakanda forever. Then we move on to Infinity War. And I would argue Wakanda was one of the most seriously impacted by the blip. Uh, both T'Challa, but also Shuri were blipped. Um, so for five years, I want to know who was running Wakanda. Uh, I do think we're going to get that answer in Wakanda forever, because not only will the movie let us know what's happening going forward with Black Panther, I think we're going to get some stories and some uh, plot points from before, um, and in particular during the blip. What, what on earth happened? Um, now we move on to Infinity Wars, and another one of their questions of the Nova Corps and Xandar. What, what happened? We know that Thanos probably wreaked a lot of havoc, probably destroyed everything uh, to get the Power Stone, but, but did anything remain? In particular, Nova. You know, there's a, there's a Nova series that's been heavily rumored, um, so hopefully we'll learn there what happened to Nova Corps and Xandar. And then we move on to Ant-Man and the Wasp. 
what is up with Ghost? You know, Ghost needed those healing particles from the quantum realm, uh, and that was back in 2018. Uh, so what has she been doing all this time? I think we're going to learn that answer in Thunderbolts. I also think she was blipped, so that would explain maybe five years where she's been, but uh, I think we're going to see her show back up as a member of Thunderbolts. Um, also, Ant-Man and the Wasp never told us who Sonny Birch was working for. And you might say, ah, do we really care? Well, it certainly seemed like a big plot point in the movie. It was mentioned all the time. My employer won't take no for an answer. My employer wants this. My employer wants that. Well, who was your employer? I think it's going to come up in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and they're finally going to answer that question. Uh, then we move on to Endgame. Please, please, somebody answer for good. Once and for all, did Captain America go to a separate timeline or did he go to the current timeline? The directors and the writers don't agree. We know that. Well, Marvel, just tell us the answer. And I think it's going to come up and be resolved in the Kang dynasty. I think we're going to learn all of the things that Kang has manipulated, allowed, um, you know, anything time travel related is going to get mentioned somehow. I would just love to get this answer once and for all. Along with that is, where did Cap get the new shield to give to Falcon? If he went back in the current timeline, where did he get the shield? If he went into a new timeline, where did he get the shield? I'd love for that to also be answered, even if it's just a quick mention, but answered in the Kang Dynasty. Um, and then there's a question of where is old Captain America anyway? You know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier kind of joked about it, but never really answered it. Is he on the moon? You know, where is he? I don't even need to see him again. I would just like to know where he is. So I'm hoping Captain America New World Order can at least make some mention um, so that we just, we don't have to think about it anymore. Uh, then we move on to, to uh, a big question from, from Endgame, which is where is 2014 Gamora? Um, she apparently leaves uh, at the end of the movie. I think we will clearly get that answer in Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. Uh, then there's also the question of those undersea earthquakes that Black Widow mentioned. And Okoye seemed pretty miffed when Black Widow suggested, you know, what, what are we doing about it? Um, well, I think we are going to learn what they're doing about it in Wakanda Forever. And I think those earthquakes uh, were caused by, of course, Mr. Namor, who's going to show up and be a, an antagonist in Wakanda Forever. Um, all, then we move on to Far From Home. What is Nick Fury doing in space? And, and is S.H.I.E.L.D. even around anymore? Uh, I do think we're going to get this answer in Secret Invasion. Also, how long has Talos been pretending to be Nick Fury? Uh, you know, there's rumors that even as back as far as Age of Ultron, it was not the real Nick Fury, it was Talos. Basically, as soon as S.H.I.E.L.D. fell in Winter Soldier. Well, give us the answer, and I think we will get it in Secret Invasion. And of course, you know, who else is a scroll? That's a huge question. Huge question. And I, that's why I can't wait for Secret Invasion, because we're going to get that answer as well. So, wow. Let's, real quick pause. That's 21 open plot lines I've already discussed. One from phase one, 20 from phase three. And we're almost done with phase four, yet we have 21 open questions from phases one through three. Wow. I mean, we haven't even got to the next 39 that are coming from phase four yet. You see what I mean by I just think this is what has made people feel like we need more order. We need to know that answers are coming. Um, it's okay to have open issues. We just need to close the issues from the past before we open new ones. So speaking of the new ones, let's move on to phase four. Um, WandaVision. Where did Monica Rambeau go at the end of WandaVision? And why did she seem so miffed at Captain Marvel? And what are her powers anyway? We're going to learn all of that in the Marvels. What happened to White Vision? I mean, really, what happened? I think we're going to get that answer in Wonder Man. That's a rumored series, uh, or maybe it's official, but um, and Wonder Man and Vision have had a, uh, a, a tight history together in the comics. So I think we're going to see him show up there. Uh, what's going on with Agatha? Is she still just a nosy neighbor is sitting in Westview? Well, now we know we're going to get that answer in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Um, still from WandaVision, what is up with S.W.O.R.D. now that Haywood's been arrested? And, and what is up with S.W.O.R.D. like, you know, being that, um, antagonistic? You know, we, 
they were ready to shoot the kids for crying out loud. Well, I think we're going to get the answer in Secret Invasion because I think when Nick Fury comes back to Earth to figure out, you know, what is going on with Earthbound Sword, we may find out Haywood is a scroll. We'll see. But either way, we're going to find out what's up with Earthbound Sword in Secret Invasion. Is Ralph Boner Jimmy Woo's missing person? I mean, you may say, ah, do I really care? I mean, I know he was looking for somebody. Do I really care? Well, it's been said repeatedly, we are going to learn who the missing person was. So it, it seems like it must be relevant. So I'm going to throw out something crazy on this one. Since fake Pietro was indeed Ralph Boner, what if Ralph Boner was a scroll? <laughs> and we learned that in Secret Invasion. That'd be kind of fun. But even if we don't learn it there, I'm surely in Agatha... Um, Agatha series, we're going to learn what's going on. Just just tell us, who was the missing person so we can mark it off the list, please. <laughs> um, now we move on to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Who was working with the power broker? I think we're going to learn that in Armor Wars. Now, I realize Captain America might be the most logical place for Sharon to show up again, but I think this is going to be some government espionage. And with Rhodey being with, working with the government, I, I just think it's going to show up in Armor Wars. But either way, wherever we get the answer, please tell us who is working with the power broker. Uh, likewise, Falcon and the Winter Soldier raised the question of what happened to Nagel's super soldier notes. If you remember, he was working on the super soldier serum before he was blipped. And when he came back, all his notes were gone and he had to start over. Well, who's got the notes? Who's using them? And are there more super soldiers coming? I think Captain America New World Order will take care of this dangling plot point. What's up with Val? Falcon and the Winter Soldier showed us recruiting, or showed her recruiting U.S. agent. Uh, Black Widow showed her recruiting Yelena. I think we're going to see that what she's recruiting is the Thunderbolts, and that movie will be an explanation of what is up with Val. Uh, will Torres become the new Falcon? I hope so, and I hope we learn it in Captain America New World Order. And is there an Avengers team anymore? I mean, no one showed up to help poor Falcon at the end of the series with, with the very public battles in New York. Um, I think we're going to get at least a partial answer in Captain America New World Order. Now, eventually, we, we know there has to be an Avengers team because there's two Avengers movies coming. But who is on that team and w what's the state of it? I think we're going to start to get that answer in the next Captain America movie. Uh, then we move to Loki. Who is in control of the TVA now? H huge, um, um, you know, dangling item from uh, from that series that I uh, think clearly will be followed up on in Loki season two. Uh, likewise, what's up with Kang after he who remains was killed? Well, I think we all know a lot is going to be up with Kang, but that we haven't seen him yet, so that is a dangling plot point. And I think we will begin to see it in Ant Man: Quantum Mania, and of course, all the way out through Kang Dynasty. Then we got Black Widow. What's up with Tas Taskmaster? Did Taskmaster just, you know, head off into the sunset for, to retirement? No, I do not think so. I think Taskmaster will show up in the Thunderbolts. Uh, what if? Uh, you know, is what if ever going to tie into the 616 universe? I, I love the series. It's a lot of fun. But will it have any greater impact on the main timeline? I think so. I think it'll be part of Battleworld and the incursions in Secret Wars. We may even see some live-action versions of these characters. But I do think it will tie into the main universe at some point. Uh, why were Wong and Abomination Cage fighting anyway? What was up with that? I think we find out in She-Hulk. Um, what is going on with Shang-Chi's rings? You know, that, that alien signal uh, reaching out to them, the beacon... Captain Marvel didn't know what it was. Bruce Banner didn't know what it was. Wong didn't know what it was. I'm going to throw out that I think we're going to learn a little bit more about that in the Marvels. And we'll, we'll mention this again uh, coming up. But I do think Marvels is where it's going to happen. If not, then Shang-Chi 2 is a natural place. But I do think we're going to get this answer sooner than later. Um, how did Bruce Banner return back to being human? You know, at the end of Endgame, he was Professor Hulk. Suddenly in Shang-Chi, he's Bruce Banner. We're clearly going to get that answer in She-Hulk. What is going on with the Ten Rings in Shai Ling? I mean, clearly she was restarting the Ten Rings, uh, ready to cause all kinds of trouble. I think that there is going to be the rumored Ten Rings series uh, because this is a big enough question that it's well worth uh, an entire series. So we'll see. It may, it may end up not happening, but it's been rumored. Uh, but one way or another, we need to know what is happening with the future of the Ten Rings. 
Um, so finally, leaving Shang-Chi, we move on to Eternals. What about that giant celestial reaching out, out of the ocean? Will somebody please mention it? <laughs> somebody, somewhere. Well, I am wondering if the rumored Eternals, although maybe not rumored anymore, the rumored Eternals movie, which for sake of putting something on paper, Celestial Judgment, sounds like as good of a title as anything, although that has not been uh, given as a title. But I think Eternals 2 will help answer w- what happened. You know, why, why is this not a bigger deal in the greater Marvel Universe? Um, I think they're going to resolve it. Likewise, what happens, uh, will happen when Erashim judges the Earth? Huge question. And I do think that will be resolved in Eternals. Um, what's going on with Dane Whitman and Blade? You know, we heard Blade speaking to Dane Whitman and, and warning him about don't touch that sword yet. Well, I think the movie Blade is the natural place. I think Dane Whitman will show up there and we're going to begin to see the Midnight Suns forming. Um, and what's up with Star Fox and Pip the Troll? Uh, it's been rumored they're going to show up in lots of different places. So um, we're happy to hear that. But if nothing else, we know we're going to see them again in Eternals. So uh, really, Eternals 2 is going to be a very important movie. Uh, Looking forward to that coming out. Um, Then we move on to Hawkeye. What happened to Kingpin and Echo? You know, did Kingpin die? What's going on with Echo? Uh, We're clearly going to get those answers in her series named Echo. Um, Then we move on to No Way Home. And what is next for Peter Parker? His entire world was rocked. No one even remembers who he is anymore. Well, clearly, Spider-Man 4. That's not been announced yet, but there's no way we don't get a Spider-Man 4. Um, and the symbiote at the end of No Way Home, that symbiote drops a little, little, little puddle. Um, please don't tell me this is another Scorpion, Prowler, or Miles Morales, and we don't learn for like three movies. <laughs> Come on, tell us. Uh, in fact, Spider-Man 4 would be a great time to tell us. So hopefully we'll get the answer sooner than later. Um, and then certainly it was brought up in, uh, No Way Home that, uh, characters are appearing from the, from the pre-Disney Plus shows, uh, the Netflix Defenders in particular, with uh, Matt Murdock showing up. So it just raises again this question of, are the pre-Disney Plus shows 616 canon? Now, I don't know that Marvel's ever fully going to answer it, but we're going to get a really big hint when Daredevil Born Again comes out. I think that between Echo and Daredevil Born Again, we're going to continue to see the Netflix characters appear, and we're going to get a better feeling for how much of those series are considered 616 canon. Um, Then we move on to Moon Knight. What is next for Moon Knight, Layla, and Haro? Um, You know, did did, um, uh, Jake Lockley kill Haro? Uh, What's happening with uh, Scarlet Scarab um, and, and Khonshu? Lots of open-ended questions. Very exciting series. I am very much hoping we get a uh, Moon Knight Season 2, and that has been strongly hinted, so hopefully that will happen. Um, Then we move on to Multiverse of Madness. Did Wanda die? I would be shocked. Shocked if she died. But nonetheless, we were left thinking she did. I hope we get some of that answer in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Um, What is up with Wanda's kids? I could have mentioned this way back in WandaVision, but since they show up again in Multiverse of Madness, we still just don't know. Are they going to ever appear in 616? Uh, theoretically, yes, but you know, let us know. When is it going to happen? I'm throwing out Agatha, Coven of Chaos may address this as well, uh, that we, we may finally see an official 616 appearance uh, from the two of them. Uh, and then, of course, what is up with Doctor Strange's third eye and Clea? when she takes him away. Now, this could get resolved in some other movie or TV show, but I really think it's a big enough plot line. We need Doctor Strange 3. That's just got to come out, hopefully before the Avengers movies, to to solve what is going on here. Um, And then will the 838 Mordo seek revenge after the Illuminati was was wasted? They were wasted. I mean, it was bad. Uh, yes, I think he will, and I'm looking for him to show up in Secret Wars, uh, maybe one of the other incursions on Battleworld. Uh, so lots of exciting um, things building towards that Secret Wars movie. Um, then we move to Miss Marvel. Uh, why did Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel switch places? You know, where did Miss Marvel end up? Uh, we will clearly learn that answer in the Marvels. And then uh, I alluded to this earlier, but what's the connection with the bangle and the Ten Rings? Uh, you know, they certainly gave us this little hint with the Ten Rings uh, etched on the floor there. I think we are going to learn more about that in the Marvels. 
How did Miss Marvel's bangle let her go back in time anyway? And did it break the endgame time rules for that to happen? Well, the answer is no, it didn't break it. But why didn't it break it? Well, I think we're going to get those answers in the Marvels. Uh, and then what is the future for mutants? Uh, you know, Kamala appears to be the first, at least, announced mutant. And now it's being alluded that Wanda might be a mutant, which we've thought all along. Um, I don't think we're really going to get an official answer until we finally get a movie. Uh, although we probably are going to see mutants popping up in, 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 in different movies and TV shows along the way. But I'm really looking forward to when we finally get a movie uh, featuring the mutants. Um, and what is up with damage control? Are they like another sword where they're just causing trouble? I mean, Haywood tries to kill the kids in 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 um, Miss Marvel. They they again try to kill Miss Marvel and her friends. I mean, what do they got against kids? First of all, these government agencies. But what's up with damage control? Uh, again, I'm just going to throw out that I think Armor Wars is going to deal with it. But even if it's not Armor Wars, we, we need the answer. These government agencies are really overreaching, and we need to know uh, who's going to try to put them in check. Or will they even be put in check? Will something worse happen? Um, and then, you know, it's been alluded all the way through here, but when are we going to see the Young Avengers? Uh, you know, we've seen America Chavez, Patriot, uh, potentially introduced there in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Obviously, Kate Bishop. Uh, Ironheart's going to be introduced in Wakanda Forever and uh, will be getting her own series. Wiccan and Speed were alluded to uh, throughout WandaVision. Stature in Quantumania. And, of course, Miss Marvel and Kid Loki have appeared. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of seeds being dropped. So we, we need Quantumania to fully establish uh, Stature and we need Ironheart to come out to fully um, introduce uh, Ironheart beyond what we'll see in Wakanda Forever. And then, of course, hopefully, finally, a Young Avengers movie. Um, what's next for Thor, Love, New Asgard, and Jane? I mean, you have several uh, interesting uh, plot lines uh, alluded to, future plot lines alluded to in Thor, Love, and Thunder. Um, you know, it's possible that we don't get a Thor 5, and if not then I would think Kang Dynasty would be one of those catch-up movies where we kind of learn what's everybody been up to. You know, in a way, that's how Thor's story has kind of progressed. You know, he would appear in his own movie, then an Avengers movie, his own movie, Avengers movie, etc. So that may be his next appearance. But considering the other major plot line, which was what's going to happen with Hercules, uh, you know, we're talking about a major throwdown between the gods. Based on that, I really think that we should get a Thor 5. Uh, I, I realize that Thor 4, you know, had mixed reviews. I enjoyed it, but I, I understand it had mixed reviews, but I really think we need a Thor 5 to officially resolve some of these major plot lines from uh, Love and Thunder. So, wow, there you go. 60, 60 open plot lines that, that, that have unanswered questions. So I think that's why Kevin Feige released the slate because he needed us to realize we're going to get these answers. We really are going to get these answers. In fact, I would point out every one of these shows and movies listed on this slate here, I, I, I alluded to earlier in one, at least one, maybe many, of the unanswered questions. So we are going to get a ton of things answered. Plus, I'll throw out there were 11 things I mentioned, potential shows and movies, that have not yet been unveiled officially. Now, Spider-Man 4 probably won't take one of those eight slots because Sony's going to release it and it'll be on a separate, you know, it'll, it'll be part of the MCU, but it'll be announced by Sony and not by Feige. But still, that's 10 shows and eight slots. So, uh, you know, it's really going to help when D23 gives us all of those uh, untitled projects because I really believe people needed to know there is structure we're going to get these answers. It's okay to have open-ended items. Just please answer some of the other ones before you add new ones. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Um, did I miss any? Are there any big unanswered questions that I didn't include? Are there any I included that you think aren't that important or that are actually resolved uh, or that you think will be resolved differently in a different entity? You know, Let me know in the comments. I love the dialogue. It's a lot of fun. Also, if you don't mind, you can like this video. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to the channel. There's lots more content you can watch. And in the meantime, continue to enjoy the ever-growing, ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe.